Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, and as you can see right here, just this moment, finish this, we're going to make a mushroom and chickpea curry. You know, kind of Indian style, lovely Indian flavours in there. Nice little bit of kick to it. Really healthy, really fast, quite cheap to make, and it's vegan. Let's go and do it. Okay, let's take a look at some ingredients that we're going to be using today. In the center there, I've got some mushrooms, fresh mushrooms, a white, regular kind of one I'm using. You can use any type of mushroom you like. On either side here, I've got about equal parts of a fresh tomato that I've chopped and onion. I'm using a red onion, but go ahead and use a white or brown. Just below that here, I've got some chickpeas or chana, which um, I'm using a canned one. Now, if you use a canned one, just make sure you give them a nice wash in some nice cold water. If you're using dried, make sure you soak and cook them really well. Just down here, I've got a little bit of fresh green chili. Optional as to how much you put in. On this side here, I've got some fresh garlic and some fresh ginger, about equal parts. In the center here, I've got some fresh coriander or cilantro. On this side, I've got my whole spices, my whole garam masala. Today I'm going to be using a couple of green cardamoms, a little bit of dried red chilli, some black mustard seeds and a little bit of cumin. Again, thousands and thousands of ways to make a garam masala or your, your seeds. There's just so many varieties. That's what I'm using. Go ahead and do what you like, guys. Here are the powders that I'm using. Now I've got four powders, equal parts of a teaspoon. I've got chilli powder, turmeric, cumin and coriander powders. I always call those the big four, I use them a lot. Now, if you want, you can just use your sort of regular blend of curry powder that you want, or try something else. We're gonna start off with a touch of oil. Today I'm gonna to be using some sunflower oil. You can use any oil you wish. We may add a touch of water. I'm gonna add a touch of salt. That's about it. Let's get over to the cooker. So we're gonna start off in a pan. I'm using this pan. You're gonna need a lid to cover that at some point. <coughs> There's my sunflower oil. I'm just heating that up because we're gonna fry or roast our whole seeds in there. And like I say, today I'm just using a little bit of dried red chili, just a couple of green cardamoms. And then here I've got a little bit of cumin and black mustard seeds. So what we want to do is just let them do their thing in that hot oil. What they're going to do is infuse that oil, give it a fantastic flavour. A really important part and stage of, of cooking. So they're going to crack and splutter. You can try some cinnamon stick in here or some bay leaf, some fenugreek. Some fennel seeds, and like I say, the, the combinations of garam masala is enormous. That's sounding really good and smelling great already. We'll add our onions now. I'm also going to add our garlic and our ginger. Now I'm using a chopped fresh, but if you wanted, you could use a garlic ginger paste, which is very, very common in Indian food. I'm also at this point going to add in our chickpeas. When you could do this with another bean, of course. And I'm simply going to cook this on a kind of fairly lively heat, just for about two to three minutes. This is coming together really beautifully. At this point, I'm gonna add in our mushrooms. I've just really sort of roughly chopped my mushrooms, sliced them, chopped them how you like. Now we're gonna add a lid and cook them for about another two minutes. 
what should happen is the mushrooms will break down and depending on the type of mushroom you're using you'll get a little bit of moisture out of them so keep this on a high highish heat and I'll see you in a couple of minutes okay let's jump in and take a look as you can see our mushrooms have broken down and you may be able to hear we've got some moisture in there at this stage we're now going to add our fresh tomatoes I'm going to add some salt now I'm now going to add our powders in they go it's like a teaspoon that's what I call a teaspoon guys of each so what I had there was the turmeric chili cumin and coriander but as I say if you wanted or well, you may have just some curry powder already mixed go ahead and use that if you like just give that a mix in there I'm now going to add my fresh green chilli optional but I love that we're now going to put the lid back on and on this high heat cook this for about four minutes what we're looking for now is we want our tomatoes to really break down and create a sauce for us or a gravy or masala now if your tomato isn't juicy enough we can add some water at this stage I can't tell you yet so lid on same sort of highish heat I'll be back in about four minutes okay let's jump in and take a look now I've got steam out of there all right that's looking great as you can see I've got loads of liquid come out of my tomatoes and mushrooms now so for me there's no need to add any water if you found that a little bit dry just throw in a little bit of cold water mix it in cook it for a couple of minutes it'll be absolutely fine let's turn off that heat and this beautiful curry well at least I think so is done apart from one thing let's get some fresh cilantro or coriander in there give that a mix and that guys is it check that for salt I'm super happy with that tasty vegan mushroom and chickpea curry or masala that's ready to go hope you enjoy that play around with it a little bit like I always say here add and you know add and fool around and, and test and you know just try and change it how you like it let us know how you get on with it don't forget to subscribe to the channel we'll see you soon lots of love